<laughs> so we'll begin in our child's pose. So come to the back of your mat. And then sit the heels into the hips. Draw the knees out nice and wide. And then from here, slowly reach the arms towards the front of the mat. And then as the forehead touches the floor, relax the breath. Close the mouth, breathing in and out of the nose. Now try and stay as active in your child's pose as you can at the beginning of class. So by that, fan out the fingers, high-fiving the mat. Maybe even lifting the elbows off the floor, so bearing more weight in the forehead. And just start to settle into your child's pose, feeling the inner thigh stretch. The length in the spine, the arms reaching long towards the front. Bearing the weight in the forehead, gently nod the forehead to the left and to the right. In yoga, we have a third eye between both eyes, just above the nose. So massaging that third eye, keeping the eyes closed. You've arrived on your mat this afternoon for this time and space to practice for yourself and your body. And building that strength and relationship between the body and the mind as well. Keep that nodding going left and right, just gently massaging the forehead. Notice the breath. Notice the inner thighs, feeling that stretch. And now come to stillness, release the elbows down to the floor. Take the arms out a little bit wider, maybe perhaps to the outside of your yoga mat, and then drop the elbows. Good, breathe here for three. Breathe here for two. Breathe here for one. Take your left hand, place it on top of the right, then move the torso around. So reaching over to the right with the left hand, then move the torso. Good, for three. Where is the breath? Breathe for two. And for one, take the left hand as wide as you can over to the left. Then take the right hand, place it on top of the left hand. Square those shoulders down to the mat. Good. Press into the forehead for three. So that long side stretch to the right for two. Good, everybody. For one, come back to center. On your next inhale, raise your hands to the fingertips, opening the lats up. Push into the floor with the fingertips. So you're pushing the hips back into the heels for three. Good. Take the weight off the forehead back into the fingertips for two. Nice, last breath, one. Lower the elbows, plant the hands down, lift up the chin, look forwards. Here for three. Make sure those hands are nice and spread for two. And one, bring the forehead back down, bend the elbows, grab opposite elbow, lower the left cheek to the floor. Here for one breath, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring the forehead down, right cheek to the floor, looking to the left. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, extend the arms long, lift up the chest again. Then slowly come all the way up, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Bring the knees together, take a big inhale, reach the arms up. And a big exhale, draw them behind you, back and down, swan diving down. Good, one more time, lift up, breathing in. Slowly open the palms, draw the hands down, swan dive, and move forwards into your tabletop position. So find your alignment in your tabletop, everybody. Find the caps surrounding the spine, pushing up to the ceiling, protract the shoulder blades out, and then gently push the tummy down, go to cow. Inhale to cat. Good, flow down to cow. Two more times, find that movement in your spine, flexing and extending. Push down to cow. Last time, inhale round. Good, exhale cow. Come back to your neutral spine, lower your elbows down to the, the floor, forearms down as well. Tuck your toes under and then press the weight into the forearms, take the legs long, find your dolphin pose. Tuck the chin in, look at the feet, look at the toes, sink the heels into the floor, maybe bounce and lift, 
and then gently lower for three. Keep the head nice and still for two. Make sure those arms are shoulder height or shoulder width distance apart. Breathe for one. Good. Lower the knees down to the floor. Push up to the hands. Take the hands in line with the shoulders. Hover the knees off the floor and then push back to downward facing dog. So we're going to use our dolphin pose to build up more upper body strength with our flow this evening. Good. Just stay nice and fluid in your downward dog. Get out any cobwebs within the legs and the hips, bending one leg straighter than the other. Remember, push the hips as high as you can. Press the chest close to the thighs. Spread the fingers wide. Push the weight into the tips of the fingers as well. Off the wrists for three. Good, for two. Send yourself away from the mat. So push away from the floor. Use that strength in the arms. For one. Good, take an inhale, look forwards at your hands and an exhale, step the left foot forwards and then followed by the right. Take the inhale, halfway lift, flatten the spine. Exhale to fold, hands to your toes, notice the hamstrings, if they feel tight or loose. Take an inhale, sweep the mat, lift up, Tadasana, nice and tall. Exhale, swan dive the hands down to the floor. Use the breath to flow, inhale, halfway lift. Find that nice flat spine and engage the lower back muscles. Exhale and fold, bring the hands to the toes, nice work. Inhale, press the hands into the mat, step the left leg back, and then the right leg back to downward facing dog. Good. Two breaths, downward dog. Notice those small adjustments you can make, even in the downward facing dog. Where is the weight in the feet? Spreading it in the hands. Where is the hips, the shoulders? Are they sinking closer towards the ground or are you lifting them, actively pushing them higher? Good, one more breath. Lower the knees down, find the tabletop, lower the elbows. Tuck those toes under, lift the hips high. Dolphin pose. So in your dolphin pose, again, the feet are hips distance apart. Feel that long stretch down the back of the hamstrings. Engage the quads, so squeeze the quads, the upper muscles in our legs, just above the kneecaps for three. Woo, you've got this guys, for two. For one, from here if you can, push your left hand into the floor, and then your right hand to downward facing dog. If you can't do that just yet, just lower the knees, place the hands under the shoulders, then send the hips high. Good, take an inhale, look forward to your hands. Take the exhale, step the right foot forward and then the left. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the spine, look down. Exhale, fold, hands to your toes. Big inhale, sweep the floor. Inhale, Tadasana, nice and tall, extending through the spine, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, swan dive, hands through heart center or hands behind. <sighs> Touch those toes. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale, press the hands into the mat, step the right leg back, and then the left leg back to downward facing dog. Good, two breaths downward dog, everybody. Finding that length and alignment in our first flow sequence. One more breath. Take the inhale, look forwards at your hands. Exhale, drop the knees down. <sighs> inhale, right elbow down, right forearm down. Left elbow down, left forearm down. Get ready, keep those toes tucked under, tucked under, <laughs> tucked under. And take the inhale up to your dolphin pose. <sighs> Third time here, getting familiar with this movement. Really try to engage and push the hips as high to the ceiling as you can. Let the head dangle between the elbows, okay? Good, breathe here for three. For two. Good, for one, take the inhale, press the right hand into the floor, and then the left hand to downward facing dog. Again, if that's too much right now, drop your knees, bring your hands under your shoulders, send the hips high. Nice, guys. Take an inhale, look forwards at the hands. This time, exhale, walk the hands backwards towards the feet. Grab the elbows, find your rag doll. Opening the spine, really send the, the elbows down towards the toes. And you can stay still in your right door, or you can bring some movement, maybe swaying left and right. Notice the weight in the feet as well. Play around with that weight, maybe shift it forwards, take it back to the heels, lift up the toes, create some circular motion as well. Keep that chin tucked in as far as possible. 
Sending that weight off the shoulder, off the upper spine for three. Letting gravity do its thing for two. Good, for one, take an inhale, hands to the floor. Exhale, walk the hands forwards, find your high plank position. First high plank, everybody, hands under shoulders, engage the core, drop the hips. Now send your shoulders high. Good, squeeze the quads for three. Nice and strong in our core for two. And one, drop the knees down, big inhale. Big exhale, lower the chest down. Fold the tops of the feet into the floor, then pull yourself to the front of your yoga mat. Inhale to your upward facing dog. So sending the weight into the backs of the, of the tops of the feet. Tuck your toes, push your hips high, downward facing dog. Good, find that sweet spot in your mat where you can know you push your palms in, find that stillness. Good, take a big inhale, look forward at your hands. Big exhale, walk the hands backwards towards the feet. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, shoot those shoulders to the back of the room. Exhale, fold, hands to the toes, bend the knees. Take a big inhale, sweep the hands up, Tadasana, nice and tall. Exhale, swan dive the hands slowly behind. <sighs> Fold forwards. Inhale, look forwards, walk the hands towards the top. Good, take a breath here. <sighs> make sure the toes are in line, make sure the hands are spread wide for three. Good, for two, building strength. Finding that base strength in our core for one. Shift forwards over the wrists. Now lower yourself all the way to the floor, take your time. When you touch the floor, untuck the toes. Keep the hands in the same position. Inhale to cobra. Good, exhale, fold, lower the chin down. Tuck your toes, prepare for plank or half plank. As you exhale, push up. And then find yourself in downward facing dog. Nice work, everybody. Take the inhale, look forwards at the hands. Exhale, hands back to the toes. Take the inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold, hands to the toes, bend the knees. Inhale all the way up, Tadasana, take the right foot off the floor. So standing one leg, Tadasana here for three. Notice the foot, is it far away from the body or if it's close, try to send it away for two. Good, for one, bring your hands to heart center, step forwards, find your warrior one. Take the back foot out 45 degrees, reach the arms up to the ceiling, find your balance. Good, so reaching the arms up, it helps to lift the chin as well here. Sink the hips forwards, bend into the front knee for three. Nice, everybody, for two. Good, for one, hands to heart center, leaning forwards. Find a twist with the left elbow, hook the outside of the right knee. Whoo, breathe here for three. Nice, for two, for one, come back to center, big inhale, open up the arms to the ceiling, big exhale, hands down to the floor, take that left leg and lift it as high as you can, standing half split, finding that balance, good, breathe here, hold into the floor for three, look down at your right toes, for two, good, for one, re-bend into the right knee, send the weight back, find your warrior two, so cut all those hands open, Gaze forwards, back toes are out 90 degrees, front leg is bent, knee under, under the line of the ankle. Good, hold it here for three, for two, for one, bring the right elbow to the right knee, reach the left arm to the front of the room. Look forwards or look underneath the left armpit. Hold this position here, find that long side body stretch. Good, all the way from the hands to the feet for three, for two, for one, inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, cut all the hands slowly down to the floor. Bring the left toes upright. Send the right leg back, find your high plank. Now you can chaturanga here. So you can chaturanga from high plank or from the knees. I'll show you from high plank, shifting forwards. Lower down halfway. Roll onto the tops of the feet. Pull yourself forwards. Inhale, up and facing dog. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Here for two breaths. One more breath. Good, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, walk those hands backwards, send the heels into the floor. Keep the legs as long as you can. Take the inhale, halfway lift. Look down, exhale, fold. 
Bend the knees, prepare for standing half leg to that. And reach the arms up, take the left leg with you. Hold it here. Good, gaze forwards, find your drishti. Good, good, three. Good, two, nice work everybody. For one, bring your hands to heart center. Slowly and softly step forwards. Open up the arms to worry one, take the back ankle down 45 degrees. Lift up the chin, look up for three. Really extend fully for two. Good, for one, bring your hands to heart center. Lean forward, right elbow hooks to the outside of the left knee. Really finding that twist this afternoon, guys. Good. Look over to the left. Hold. One more breath. Good, come back to center. Inhale the hands up. And then exhale, drop the hands, open up, warrior two. Looking forwards here. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good, left elbow down to left knee. Reach the right arm to the front of the room. Good, hold it here. Remember that left elbow is not leaning into the, the leg. It's just hovering there, okay? Reaching, find that length of the right arm. Good, breathe here for two. For one, good, come back to warrior two. Slowly exhale, hands down, reframe the left foot, send it backwards, find your high to low plank, chaturanga. Roll onto the tops of the feet, inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Nice, two breaths. Find that ujjayi breath, everybody. Breathing in and out of the nose. Creating that roaring sensation, roaring feeling to the back of the throat as you take that breath out. Good, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, hands back to feet. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Flowing now, inhale, sweep the hands up, take the right knee with you, hold it here for three. Good, for two. For one, bring your hands to heart center, step forwards. Find your warrior one, reach the arms up. Bend into the front knee, back toes out 45 degrees. If warrior one is all about the hips, so if the hips can square to the front of the room, that is your warrior one. Reach the arms up. Good, take an inhale. And an exhale. Draw the hands to heart center, lean forward, send your weight into your right leg. Find that twist on your next inhale. Good, hook to the outside of the right knee. Nice, everybody, for three. Find your balance for two. Good, for one, inhale back to the arms to the ceiling and then step the right foot further forward to find your warrior two. The so back toes out 90 degrees here, arms long. Find that length, imagine someone's pulling you from the front and from the back. Good, hold and breathe for three. For two. Good, for one, right elbow down, left arm long to the front. Find that reach through the left side of our body. Find that balance. Imagine you're between two walls, a slither of a wall, finding that small space, reaching as far to the front as possible. Good, send the weight to the right knee. Don't hover into the knee though, with the elbow. Good, on your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, slowly cart all the hands down. Listen carefully. Send the right leg back, but hover it off the floor if you can. Good, for three. For two, nice work. For one, drop the right foot, chaturanga. So if we didn't lift up the right knee, no worries. Just hold that high plank. Tuck the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Relax the chin into the chest, looking to the back of the room. One more breath. Take the inhale, look at your hands. Exhale, walk those hands backwards towards the feet. Try to find the length in the back of the legs. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold, hands to the toes. Sweep the floor from back to front. Inhale, Tadasana, stand half leg. Left leg is lifted high. Hold it here, here everybody, for three. Lift the chin up if you can. Squeeze and curl your toes around with your standing foot for two. Good, for one, bring your hands to heart center, then slowly and softly step forwards. Warrior one, back heel down. Good, back heel up 45 degrees, bring your hands up to the ceiling. Take the inhale. And the exhale, draw the hands to heart center. 
Inhale, lean forwards. Exhale, right elbow hooks the outside of the left knee. Find that juicy twist. Look to the left for three, for two. As we twist, we aid our digestive system. We detoxify the body. We want all those soft organs, the soft, mus smooth muscles that our organs are made of. Take the inhale, reach the arms up, find your balance. Exhale, drop the hand, step the right leg back, warrior two. Notice the back heel is out 40, uh, 90 degrees now. Send the weight forwards into that front bend of the leg. Look at your big toe. If you can see it, great. If you can't, you just push the knee out to the side a little further. Allowing the hip to open from side on. Building strength even here, everybody. Good, take an inhale, lift those shoulders. And the exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, elbow to knee, reach the right arm to the front. Again, imagine you're between two walls. That small, sweet spot that we need to reach towards the front. Make our body as long as possible, finding that long side stretch for two. Good, for one, inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, float the hands down to the floor. Listen carefully again. Send the left leg back, but keep it lifted if you can. Find your low plank for three points of contact for two. Strong core for one, drop the left foot, roll forwards, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, look to your right. Look to your left. Exhale, drop the knees, open up to child's pose. And just settle down with the breath. Close the eyes, allowing the body to just come to a stillness here. We're warm, the body is flowing, the breath is moving. Just a couple of moments. Two more breaths, really focus on taking as big a breath in as you can, as big a breath out, just to cleanse the body into our next flow. Good, from here, lift up the chin, push the hands forward, kind of walk the hands to the front of the mat, then drop the elbows, bring the knees back in line by tucking the toes, and then send the weight high, find your dolphin pose. So it really helps with dolphin pose to try and stack the shoulders as much as you can over the elbows. If our, um, if our torso is a bit further back, it will be graded, it's a little bit tougher in the shoulders. So send the weight forwards, see my shoulder is in line with my elbow. Tuck the chin in. Good, breathe here for three, for two, for one. Press into the left hand and then the right hand, find your downward facing dog. Five breaths in our downward dog, no matter how you've got here, we're here now. Take the inhale, lift up to the tiptoes and exhale, heels down. Good, inhale, lifting up, using that breath. Exhale, heels down. Three to go, everyone. Inhale and just lift. Exhale and lower. Keep it going, moving with that breath. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. Final move. Inhale, lift up high. Exhale, release the heels as flat to the floor as possible. Good. Sweep up the left leg as high as you can. Point the toes up as well. And then from here, bend the knees, find your scorpion dog. So stack the left side of the hip on top of the right side of the hip. Keep the weight even in the hands. Look underneath the left armpit. Big circles with the left leg for three, for two, for one. We square the hips, set the left foot down. Inhale the right leg high now. Point the toes up as high as possible. And then bend the knees, scorpion your dog to the right. Try to find some big circles with your right leg for three. It's quite hard to do when you're upside down, but give it a go for two. For one, bring the right foot back down to the floor. Take an inhale, look forwards at the hands. Take an exhale, walk, jump or step forward. <sighs> inhale, halfway lift, find that flat spine, looking down at the floor. Exhale and fold, bring the hands to the toes. <sighs> Send the weight back into the heels, sit back into your first chair pose. Yes, we got it guys. So lift up the chest as high as you can, look forward, squeeze those knees together. Hold this here from front on for three, 
Imagine we're holding a big Swiss ball in front of us for two gentle pulses up and down. For one, bring your hands to heart center, come to stillness. Exhale, lean forwards, twist your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Find that twist, find that position. If we can't quite get there yet, just focus on finding that twist with the elbows. Try to bring the elbows as parallel to the floor as possible or pointing down to the floor. Good, bring that twist, press into the hands for three. Look over the right armpit or shoulder for two. Good, for one, maybe wing out the arms. Good, close those arms, come back to center and then fold or dive forwards. Take the feet out wide, find gorilla pose, right hand under right foot, left hand under left foot. Tuck the chin in, relax the kneecaps. We're here for a couple of rounds of breath, everybody. Feel that pressure slowly rise in the head. Head is lower than the heart. Gentle inversion. Good, maybe bring some movement, swaying to the left and right, or big circles, sending the weight round to the foot. Good. Slowly take the hands away from the feet, toe heel those feet together. So using that strength in the feet, toe heel the feet together. From here, lift up the chest, reach the arms up, find chair pose again. Good, so looking forward, squeeze those knees together. Look down at the toes. If you can't see your toes, you need to send your hips a little further back. Good, gentle pulses up and down for three. For two, you've got this, guys. For one, bring your hands to heart center. Lean forwards on your exhale, twist over right elbow to outside of the left knee. Find that twist. Once you find the twist, push into the outside of the knee, push into the elbow. Find that counterbalance, press into the hands, look over your left arm or left shoulder. Good, hold this twist for two, for one. Good, open up the arms, wing them out high and low. Hold it here, lovely job. Bring your hands back to center. Come towards the front and dive forwards. Take the feet wide here, Paschimottanasana. Wide leg fold, feet as wide as you can. Grab the elbows, gently sway to the left and to the right. Feel that inner thigh stretch here. Look to the back of the room. Just hanging out here, feeling that inner thigh stretch. You can stay still or you can just gently sway. Whatever works for you this afternoon. Two more breaths. One more breath. Bring the hands to the floor. Inhale, lift up the chest, look forwards. Exhale, sink lower. Bring your hands to your ankles. Pull yourself closer towards your thighs. Use the elbows to dig and pull your torso closer. Maybe the forehead or the head will come closer to the ground. Maybe you even want to step your feet a little bit wider. Good, find that connection, drawing the energy in towards the center. Good, looking to the back of the room for three, finding that stretch in the arms as well for two. Nice, everybody, for one, wherever you are, take the hands behind your back, let them rest there so the elbows point out to the side. Or to go deeper, reach the arms up and over the top of the head, let them fold forwards. Bend the knees if you need to for three. For two. Good. For one, slowly bring the hands to the floor. Final time, lift up the chest and fold forwards. Toe heel those feet together, taking your time. Once the feet are close, roll all the way up the, the legs coming to standing. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up. And a big exhale, hands at Samasuti Yi. Good. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs, everybody. Take a sip of water. Here is your hydration break. <laughs> and then we'll get into some balances. Hopefully everyone feels nice and warmed up and challenged already. Okay. So, when you're ready, come back to your mat space. We're going to try a pose called figure four. 
very similar to tree, but you're using your knee in front of the leg. So I'll talk you through it. Shaking out the legs. When you're ready, come to standing, look down at your toes, lift up the toes from the floor. And then lower the toes, lift up the heels. Good, so flow through this a couple of times, just warming up those ligaments in the feet. Lift up the heels, heels down, lift up the toes. Incorporate that breath, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Don't forget to lift those toes up as well. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. One more time, everybody. Inhale, lift up, squeeze your kneecaps. Exhale, heels down. Good. Send the weight into the right leg, lift up the left knee. Now from here, figure four, we're taking the right of the left foot, placing it on top or in front of the right quad. Now use your hand to guide that foot in this position here. Now you're very welcome to just stay here. This is great just so as, it, as, it, as it is, preparing us for locust pose. Otherwise, send your weight back into your right heel, so bend your right leg. Find your balance. Once you've bent the right leg as much as possible, bring your hands to heart center. Be very careful of the left knee for three. Good. For two, there are some yogis that can reach all the way down to the floor. <laughs> for one, maybe you're one of them. Good, then send the leg on the right nice and straight. Release the left leg, shake it out before you take it down to the floor. Other side here, I'll show you from side on. So wait into the left leg, take the right knee off the floor. When you're ready and stable, take the right foot, place it on top of the left. So in front, I will say on top, but it's actually in front. Notice the right knee shifted slightly forwards. Find that balance. Use your left hand to grab the foot. Then from here, send the weight back into the heel on the standing leg. Slightly bend into the knee as well. Release the hand when it feels good to you. Bring your hands to heart center. Figure four. Find that stretch along the IT band of the, of the bent leg for three. Good, for two, for one, slowly rise, release the right leg, shake it out before you step it down. Nice work, everybody. Okay, we're gonna go into a Jiva squat, we're in three variation. So from the top of our mat, take a big inhale, hands to the ceiling, and a big exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Lower down all the way to the toes. Now from here, walk the hands forwards, Inhale into downward facing dog. From here, sweep up your right leg as high as you can. Point the toes up and then take the inhale. Bring the hand, bring the foot between the hands. So we're framing the right foot. Now from here, send your weight into your right leg. Lift the left leg off the floor. Bring your hands to heart center. Send the weight into the, left, the right leg. Take that left leg long. Hold here for three, warrior three. For two, listen carefully. For one, you can stay here or bend the right knee. Send the left knee behind. Find your Jiva squat. Lift up the chest 45 degrees. So aligning the knees, keep the chest lifted. Look forwards for three. Breathe for two. Good, everybody. For one, step the left leg all the way to the back of the mat. And then reach your arms up, crescent lunge. Lower the hands down to the floor. Sweep that right leg back to downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna go through that on the other side. Lift up the left leg high, point those toes up to the ceiling. Exhale slowly and softly, plant that left foot between the hands, framing the left foot. Get ready with the left leg, be strong. Send the weight into the left leg, hands at heart center. Take the right leg high, find your warrior three. Three for three. For two. Good, for one, bend the left knee, take the right knee behind, find Jiva squat, lift up the chest, lift up the chin. Good, make sure the knees are one behind the other, hold it here for three. Good, for two, lovely balancing this evening, guys. For one, be strong, take the right leg all the way back, then lift up the arms, crescent move. Good, take an inhale. And an exhale, hands to the floor, sweep that left leg back, find your chaturanga. So shift forwards from your high plank, lower down halfway, roll onto the tops of the feet, inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet all the way through the hands and then lower the back down to the floor, rolling up and down the spine. 
Nice work, everybody. And then from here, lie on our backs. Press the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fold out to the side. Find your Supdivada Konasana position. Relax the shoulders. Hands on the inner thighs. Just to gently push down, allowing gravity and the presence of our hands to just gently help the knees fall closer towards the ground. Maybe close the eyes. Just come into a bit of stillness here. Good. Two more breaths. One more breath. Draw the knee back in towards the chest, slowly closing the knees, allowing the pelvis to realign. Good, and then extend your left leg all the way down to the floor. Keep the right knee tucked in, squeezing that right knee in as much as you can. And then when you're ready, find your supine twist with the right knee, come across the body towards the left, wing out your arms, look to the right. Now you might notice that one knee can slightly move in a better position than the other in our supine twist. Just being aware of these subtle changes and differences between left and right side of our bodies. Let me get into your yoga practice in detail. All these subtle adjustments and differences. Slowing down the breath. Try not to hold on to any tension in the muscles as we work through this restorative pose. Good. slowly come back to center. Draw the knees back into the chest, squeeze them in, and then extend your right leg long to the floor. Keep the left knee tucked in, making sure that our right knee is completely relaxed. Okay, our right leg on the floor, shake it out, let no tension, no muscular tension hold in that position, squeezing the left knee in. And then when you're ready, roll across towards the right. Think of it about stacking your left side of your hip on top of the right side. Knee maybe comes down to the floor. Make sure we're winging our arms out long, looking to the opposite side of our knee. Find that lovely stretch in the thoracic spine. And just slow it all down, slow your breath down. Think of our supine twist as taking a towel out of the washing when it's still wet, it hasn't been spun yet. You rinse the towel, you see the droplets fall on the floor. We're helping detoxify our bodies as we twist from right to left. Not letting any lactic acid accumulate in the muscles getting rid of tension we may be holding on to subconsciously and calming our bodies down. And then from here, bring the knees in towards the chest, squeeze them in as tightly as you can. Sway left and right, open up the hips to happy baby, plant the feet to the, to the ceiling, so really flex those feet. Draw the knees into the armpits, happy baby. Stay um, still or sway left and right. Slow it down. Good for three. For two. Slowly for one, draw the knees together. Keep your lower back engaged with the floor. Bring the hands over the belly. Feel the core working here as we're flexing the feet. And then when you're ready, slowly take the feet over the top of the head into plow pose. If you need to take your arms out to the side, take the arms out to the side. So plow pose is where the feet go up and over the tops of the head. Use your hands on your lower back to press the hips towards the front. Maybe they touch the floor, maybe they don't. Notice where you are, keeping the head still for three. For two. And one, slowly unwind, allowing the lower back to come back to the floor. 
Keep your lower back engaged here, arms out to the side, and then gently watch the feet float down to the floor. Good, take your time. Last bit of activation here. And then when the feet touch the floor, ankles release. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. Preparing the body for your Shavasana, your sleepy pose, corpse pose, Shavasana. Allow the body to be still. We're focusing on our spiritual practice within our bodies and our mind here as we've flowed and concentrated on our physical practice. Notice the breath. Listen to your breath. Observe your breath. Shavasana is the perfect opportunity to do so. It's a moment where the body needs to be still after moving, exercising, flowing, engaging. A chance for the mind to just focus. No other thoughts other than your breathing. Practicing being present in this very moment. Engaging with our breath, noticing where it is. As you do this, feel the body get heavier onto your mat. Relax any tension away from your jaw. Separate your teeth, top and bottom row. Notice what that does to the face, the ears. And then send that full body check all the way down through the neck, down the arms, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, all relaxing. Sending that awareness to our upper back, our mid back, our lower back, our pelvis. Relaxing our quads our kneecaps, our calves, our ankles, the soles of our feet and our toes. Maybe notice how shallow or deep your breath has become. Slowly start to bring some awakening movements back to the body. You can do this by wiggling your fingers, your toes, maybe nodding the head left and right. Perhaps take deeper breaths in and out of the nose. And then when you're ready, find a side position, fetal position, cradling the head, stacking the hips here, allowing the body to be still for a couple more moments. You've given yourself this time to flow and connect, to lengthen and strengthen all the muscles, joints and tendons, and connect with that neuromuscular control which we have, which will aid us for so much more movement to come. Slowly push yourself up to seated. You can either sit cross-legged or you can sit back into the heels, whatever you prefer. Wherever you are, Find yourself in seated, keep your eyes closed. Keep the hands resting on the thighs or the knees. We're gonna do five lifts of our shoulders and rolling them back and down. So inhale, lift up the shoulders. Exhale, roll them back and down. Good, inhale, lift up your shoulders. Think about filling up the lungs. Exhale, roll them down. Three more times, everybody. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, rolling down. Two to go, lift up. Fill up. Exhale, roll. Last one, lift up, fill up. 
Exhale, roll back and down. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining this afternoon, everybody. It's such a pleasure to move, flow, and create sequences that help you gain strength in your yoga practice. I'll see you all soon. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining, everybody. Eduardo, Malawai, Pete. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. See you all soon. Bye.